Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the greatest watch market update show in the world. That's right. You know, me and Kino always, always try to bring you what's really happening out there in the Muppet Boiler Room secondary gray watch market. Unbelievable, but true, but we really do. Unbelievable. And today, today, sweet kick Kino has an unbelievable watch market update set up for you guys. You're not going to believe this. Today is about Rolex watches. You know, these Rolex watches that have been dropping faster than Bill Clinton's pants in an Arkansas farmhouse. We have that for you guys today. Unbelievable. And also, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to know there are watch Facebook group. It is blowing up. If you guys want to join the watch group, just follow those pictures and uh, the instructions are there and you know, request it and maybe, and I mean maybe, sweet Kit Kino, unbelievable that Kit Kino, unbelievable, Kit Kino might just let you in. You know, there's a couple of things you have to look at. You have to have a Facebook profile picture. You know, we want to know who you are. You know, we don't want no flim flammers in our watch group. So, you know, just do a little homework before you request it because you might, you know, you might get declined by no other than sweet Kit Kino. Unbelievable. Anyway, before I get into all this stuff that I want to get into, let's go into my magical intro. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with this watch market update that's going to blow your hair back. This is going to blow your hair back like this, poof, like that. Unbelievable. And it's all about Rolex today. That's right. Every single watch I'm going to talk to you today about is Rolex. Unbelievable. And let's just dive right into it. Our first watch is the Rolex Titanium Yacht Master 42 millimeter. Unbelievable looking watch with a black ceramic bezel and a black horse stallion dial. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Beautiful looking watch. Unbelievable as you can see in the picture. Unbelievable. The reference number that watch is the 226627. This watch has a retail price of $14,050. And at one moment when this watch first came out, this watch was fetching a price of over $65,000. That's right. And there was a real big long line of window lickers, lollipop suckers, crayon eaters, and tomato cans ready to pay the $60,000 plus, you know? Unbelievable, unbelievable. And I told you a couple of weeks that this watch was dropping, and I mean, it was dropping faster than Jacques Cousteau's submarine. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And I'm gonna tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay, and I told you a couple of weeks ago, don't pay 30, don't pay 29, don't pay 28. And today, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to believe this. This is unbelievable what's happening with this watch. It is dropping so fast. It's unbelievable. It's scary. I mean, you guys do whatever you want with your money. But me and Keno here to tell you what we think and what we believe you guys should pay for that watch. I'm just going to tell you, don't pay more than $26,000 and drop it. Drop, drop, drop it. Unbelievable. The watch market is dead. Unbelievable. Our next watch is an unbelievable looking watch. It is the Rolex stainless steel with an oyster bracelet, green dial, mint green dial, whatever you want to call it, you know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable, as you can see in the picture. This is a 42 millimeter. The reference number of that watch is the 336934. This watch has a retail price of $15,850. This watch, when it was first released, it was, uh, <laughs> they had a price on this watch of over $45,000. That's right, over $45,000. And then it went down to 40, and then it went down to 31. And then it went down to 29. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you, you do whatever you want. If you guys want to continue getting fleeced by these flim flammers, 
that's up to you. You may do so. If you want to continue maintaining their lifestyle, their red gold fast car, you know, their Louis Vuitton Nike sneakers, their, their uh, Montclair hoodies, you know, their diamond chains, their steak dinners and sushi, that's up to you. But me and Keen are going to tell you, don't pay for that beautiful Rolex Sky Dweller with a green dial. Don't pay. I mean, you do whatever you want. But don't pay more than $24,000 and bam, 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 bam. Kino, papi, esto está brutal, papá. <laughs> esto está malo, papi. Listen, guys, you got to stop getting fleeced by these flim flammers. Let me tell you a short story. Let me tell you a real short story. Even billionaires get fleeced. You know, there was a real big name. They played basketball. His name is Ernest. Ernest. I think it's, they call him MJ. And this man was the owner of the Charlotte Hornets NBA team. And he was worth $2.1 billion. Yes, Michael Jordan's money was all put into that basketball team. You know, the Charlotte Hornets. I'm going to show you how people get fleeced. This is a man that had all that money, all that glory, but he started playing with big boys and he made a bad investment. He did a bad, you know, he did a bad, he got beat up, you know, with this investment. He really got beat up, you know, he got fleeced. So he was talking to one of these billionaires and he said, you know, put for me $400, $400 million in an investment. And, 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 and Michael John said, I got you, I got it, I got it, I got it. Put the $400 million. So the guy listened to him and he put the $400 million in the stock. And Michael Jordan lost his rear end. Like we say in Spanish, perdió las nargas, perdió el culín, perdió el fullín. <laughs> Unbelievable. Michael Jordan lost everything. He lost all that money to these billionaires, you know? Because remember, there's always a couple of people more smarter than you out there. So he lost the money. And he didn't have the $400 million. Yes, he had a basketball team. I'm going to show you how Michael Jordan got fleeced by these two gentlemen out of Chicago. One of them was one of the richest men in Chicago, worth like $32 billion. So the guy with the $32 million said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of you, Jordan, and get you out of the hole. So he gave, they lost like $4 billion. And the billionaire helped out Jordan and his partner. You know, it was a sketch, you know, it was a flim flam. You know, they were gonna get fleece. Michael Jordan was gonna get fleece by these two gentlemen. You know, one of them Jordan thought was his best friend. And the other one was the richest man in Chicago, $32 million. 32, excuse me, $32 billion. So he gave them money. So they got Jordan out. So the time came that that billionaire from Chicago, he wanted to cash out, he wanted his money back. And Jordan didn't have the money. So you know what Jordan did? He told him just, just stay with the Charlotte Hornets NBA basketball team. And this is the way Michael Jordan got fleeced, got flim flam by these two big boys, billionaires. And Jordan lost his chair on the round table. That's right. True story. You don't believe that? You guys need to read more. But Google it anyway. Google it so you can see what I'm talking about. So Jordan with his $2.1 billion, because he was the majority owner of the Charlotte Hornets, lost his basketball team to these two flim flammers out of Chicago. That's right. Michael Jordan lost his Charlotte Hornets basketball team by two flim flammers they were bigger boys than he was. That's right. He wanted to play with them and he got burned. And today, Michael Jordan is walking around the streets with t-shirts that say Nike, hats that say Nike, sneakers all day. Today, he's just a slave for the Nike Corporation. That's right. Unbelievable. True story. So what I'm trying to tell you, anybody can get fleeced out there, right? All right. Our next watch is the Rolex. Another Rolex. It's an unbelievable looking Rolex as you can see in the picture. Beautiful looking Rolex, unbelievable. It is the Rolex Stainless Steel GMT Bruce Wayne on an oyster bracelet. Black 
and gray ceramic bezel, 40 millimeter, reference number 126710. The retail price of that watch is $10,900. And when it was first released, it was over, over $35,000. This is the Oyster Bracelet one, not the Jubilee Oyster Bracelet. And me and Kino are gonna have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $18,500. And bam, the watch market is dead. <laughs> Damn, unbelievable, unbelievable. Our next watch is a Rolex white gold sky dweller with a cream white dial. Unbelievable. As you can see in the picture, unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable looking time machine. This is a 42 millimeter. The reference number of this watch is the 326939. This watch has a retail price that's gonna knock your socks off of $53,100. We're talking about in this channel, slider use condition material watches. Don't get that confused. We're talking about slider use material watches in this channel. Unbelievable, but true, but we do, unbelievable. And ladies and gentlemen, like I told you, retail price, $53,100. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And me and Kino are gonna have to tell you, don't pay. And I mean, you're gonna be in shock, but don't pay more for that beautiful Rolex Sky Dweller, white gold with a cream white dial. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $26,000. And dump, 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 un poquito más, dump, dump. The watch market is dead. Unbelievable, true, unbelievable. Our next watch is the Rolex GMT. Stainless steel, Bruce Wayne, as you can see in the picture, unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable looking time machine. This one has the Jubilee band, the Jubilee bracelet with a black and gray ceramic bezel, 40 millimeter. Unbelievable, unbelievable looking watch. The reference number that watch is the 126710, has a retail price of $11,200. Over, over 40,000 at one moment. And me and Kino are going to have to tell you, I mean, you do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. But don't pay more than $19,500 in. Dump! 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 Unbelievable. 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 Watch my kid dead. You got to stop being window lickers. Listen to the story I told you about Michael Jordan, the way he got flim flammed and got fleeced out of his NBA basketball team they took it away from him le quitaron las medias sin quitarle los zapatos they took away his socks or they took off his socks without taking off his shoes that's how good those billionaires were they stood with his nba charlotte hornets basketball team unbelievable but true our next watch is the all new and i mean the all new rolex Yellow gold, blue ceramic, blue dial, deep sea. Unbelievable. This, this is like a sack of cement. The way it weighs, it weighs so much. It's an unbelievable looking watch, as you can see in the picture. Unbelievable. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable. The Rolex yellow gold deep sea, blue ceramic bezel, blue dial, 44 millimeter. The reference number of this beautiful looking time machine, brand new, brand new, the 136668 LB has a retail price of $52,100 plus your taxes. That's right. So the watch is gonna end up there somewhere in the $55,000, $56,000. That's right. And at this moment, they're asking for that watch, $80,000, $75,000, Seventy thousand, and I'm gonna tell you at this moment, and this thing is dropping still. This thing is dropping heavy, heavy, heavy. And I'm gonna have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. I understand a lot of you out there are loaded. I really do. I understand that a lot of you out there are loaded. But keep in mind what happened to Michael Jordan, the way he got fleeced and flim flammed by those two billionaires out of Chicago. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what happened to poor Michael Jordan. Unbelievable. He's today he's a slave 
for Nike. Unbelievable, but true, unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna have to tell you, you do whatever you want, but don't pay for that Rolex yellow gold, deep sea blue ceramic bezel, blue dial, 44 millimeter. Don't pay more than $66,000 and duck, 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 duck more. De verdad que va, más, le doy, chino. Duck more, I'm telling you, duck more. I'm telling you, the watch market is dead. Don't believe these flim flammers. They've been fleecing you for too long until sweet Kino and I came along. That's right. Kino to me, who I came to you. Unbelievable, that sweet Kino. What he's done for you guys. Kino has helped out watch collectors, watch enthusiasts. Kino has done all this. You got to thank Kino every day for what he's done. He's unbelievable. Our nice. next watch is the Rolex Stainless Steel. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable. This watch has a yellow dial. It's a 41 millimeter. Take a look at the pictures. An unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable. This is, uh, the reference number of this watch is the 124300. This watch at one moment was over, over $25,000. That's right, over $25,000. And I can tell you, this is a beautiful Oyster Perpetual with a yellow dial, 41 millimeter. And I'm gonna have to tell you this watch, don't pay, I mean, you do whatever you want, but don't pay more than $13,800 and bam, the watch market is dead. Bam, the watch market is dead. Believe our next watch is an unbelievable Rolex. Take a look at that picture. Unbelievable. It is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Celebration Dial. A 36 millimeter. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable. Unbelievable looking time machine. This watch at one moment when it was first released, it was over $25,000. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna to have to tell you, don't pay for that Rolex Oyster Perpetual with a celebration dial, 36 millimeter. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $12,500 and da da da. Watch my is dead. Unbelievable, but true, unbelievable. Our next watch, it is the Rolex Stainless Steel. Explorer, take a look at the picture. Unbelievable looking Explorer, unbelievable. Unbelievable, a black dial, 42 millimeter, reference number 216570. Has a retail price of $8,350. At one moment it was over $17,000, that's right. Over $17,000 and ladies and gentlemen, I mean you do whatever you want with your money. But me and Kino are here to tell you what we believe you guys should pay for those used slider condition material watches. Unbelievable, but true, but we do, unbelievable. Sweet Kit Kino is unbelievable. He's on point always. He's unbelievable, unbelievable, but true. And we're gonna have to tell you, don't pay for that Rolex Stainless Steel Explorer, black dial, 42 millimeter. Don't pay more, and I mean don't pay more. Then seven thousand five hundred dollars and da! watch my kid dead. Unbelievable! I want you guys to know that Kino and I we bring the truth on the watch market. We tell you what really is happening out there. We are the real watch market update. There's nobody better than Kino. Kino has the truth, the real watch market update with real numbers, not lollipop sucker numbers, not window flavor lollipop sucker numbers. You know, we're for real. We're not passing around crayons. We're not passing around tomato cans. We're giving it to you the way it is. We are the authentic, the real watch market update. Forget about the rest. The rest are flim flammers. The rest have been fleecing you for too long. It's unbelievable, but true, unbelievable. So don't forget that we are the real watch market update. 
When you want to know about prices, even the Muppet Boiler Room Secondary Gray Watch Market dealers and channels come to see my watch market update. Excuse me. Kino's watch market update. Unbelievable, that Kino. Sweet kid. Unbelievable. Our next watch is the Rolex Yacht Master. Take a look at that watch. Unbelievable looking time machine. That Rolex Yacht Master. Unbelievable. 40 millimeter with a silver dial with a platinum bezel. Reference number 16622. This watch has a retail price of $11,000. $650 and it was over over at one moment over $15,000 that's right and ladies and gentlemen I mean you do whatever you want but don't pay more for that beautiful Rolex stainless steel yacht master 40 millimeter silver dial platinum bezel don't pay more and I mean don't pay more than $7,200 and De verdad que sí. El mercado de los relojes está muerto. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe it. Our next watch is the Rolex Rose Gold Root Beer. This watch at one moment <clears throat> in the Corona era, you know, the SBA loan, the SBA era, the PPP era, the stimulus checks era, you know, government grants, all that good stuff, unemployment checks. This watch was over $65,000. That's right. Over $65,000. An unbelievable looking time machine as you're looking at the picture. Unbelievable looking time machine. The reference number of that watch is the 126715. It's a 40 millimeter and it has a retail price of $42,300. And like I said, it was over, over 65, 65, 60, whatever it is. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. But don't pay more for that used slider condition material. Rolex GMT, Rolls Gold, Root Beer. Don't pay more than $35,000 and done. Watch Market is dead. Watch Market is dead in the backyard pool and floating face down like this. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. Our next watch is the Rolex Stainless Steel Milgus. You know, with the Coca-Cola, you know, crystal. You know, that the Coca-Cola small little Coke bottles, that green crystal, you know, glass, whatever you want to call it. Unbelievable looking time machine. I had this watch back in the, back in the early, early 2000s. And it was a real hot watch, but then it just died out. But anyway, this watch is an unbelievable Rolex Milgus with a black dial, 40 millimeter. Has a retail price, an unbelievable. I mean, excuse me, excuse me. Has a re yeah, has a retail price of seven thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. The reference number that watch is the one one six four zero zero. And it was over, over, over $14,000 at one moment. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to tell you, I mean, you do whatever you want. If you guys want to continue believing these flim flammers, these Muppet Boiler Room secondary gray watch market channels, that the watch market is up and running again, which is a true, true lie. It's what it is, a true lie. Watch market is dead. I'm going to have to tell you, don't pay for this Milgas. Don't pay more than $7,200 in. Unbelievable, the watch market is dead. Unbelievable. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's your Rolex watch market update for this week. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something. You know, uh, defend yourself from all these flim flammers out there. Protect yourselves and tell them, and tell them in their face that the watch market is dead. Tell them that you're not a lollipop sucker, that you're retired from being a lollipop sucker now. You're not no more that person no more. Because you have friends now. You have friends like Joaquin, you know, sweet kid Kino. Kino to me, Joaquin to you, and you have me. We're your friends. And we're always going to help you out for free. For free. We don't want nothing for you guys. Nothing. That's all. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoy the show. Don't forget to subscribe to this unbelievable channel. Don't forget. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
Like I say every week, take care and brush your hair.